Hey guys, I told you I'd be doing a lot of hauling now that I'm not on my no buy. So today we're gonna be talking about what I purchased during the Sephora Beauty Appreciation Event Sale. I placed one order online, because you could only place one order online to use the coupon code, and then I went in store once. So if you're interested in seeing what I purchased at Sephora during the sale event, then just keep on watching. Someone just walked into the room and I think wants to be in this video. Do you want to say hi to everyone? Hi. If you'd like my mommy to unbox any of your PR packages online, we require one bag of kibble and two squeaky toys. Thank you. All right, so let's go ahead and start with what I ordered online. Uh, let's get the boring stuff out of the way. I got, whoa, I got a pack of the Shiseido facial cottons. I was actually not really running low, but I thought I would just order a pack since the sale was going on. And then I ordered a saint tan applicator mitt. I, I don't know, I tried self tanning and I was using a brush and it was just taking so long. So then I started using my hands. I washed my hands immediately afterwards, but they were still really orangey for at least a couple of days. So I thought, let me try a mitt and this one seemed okay. It actually seems a little flimsy in person. Actually, let me go ahead and open it. So the mitt is only like one-sided. So I'm assuming this is the side you wanna use. And then this side is actually kind of sheer. And it feels like pantyhose. Well, all right, hopefully it will help because I have not self tanned since that last incident uh, because I didn't want my hands to turn orange again. And then I purchased the Natasha Denona Camel Palette. I actually got two because I'm gonna be throwing one into my giveaway. Again, I'm slowly kind of accumulating what I'm gonna be putting into that giveaway. Uh, and this is one of them. So this is the new five pan palette from Natasha Denona. And this is what it looks like. So pretty. Looks like we have one, two, three creamy mattes. We have a metallic and then we have a, what's S? I think sparkle or satin is what S stands for. So what's interesting is I think on camera, this looks like it's a cream color, but it's actually more peachy. Let me go ahead and uh, swatch these for you. Ooh, these feel really creamy. These feel really nice. So those are the first three. Sorry, this one is, is my fault. That's a poor swatch. And then here's the sparkle shade and the last matte. Sparkle shade looks amazing. Wow. Look at that. That looks really beautiful. Sorry, the mats didn't swatch that well. I don't know if it's my fault um, or the shadows, but swatches only tell part of the story as we know. I've uh, heard very good things about this palette. So I'm excited to try this out. I'm sure I'll do a dedicated video on this uh, quint. Oh, this is something else for my giveaway. This is the Surratt Lash Curler. I use this all the time. I probably don't talk about it that often, but this is the one lash curler that I use. I really love it. It is a fan favorite. It also won an Allure Beauty Award. So um, I thought I would throw that into the giveaway as well. And then I picked up a Burberry highlighter. So if you watched my Sephora uh, sale event wish list, I had on there one of the new Givenchy highlighters. So when I placed my order on September 1st, it was out of stock, the one that I wanted. I think like the gold version, there's like a gold and a pink. The gold was out of stock and I thought, Ugh, oh well, you know, I missed my chance or whatever because I think they're a limited edition. So I placed my order and then a couple days later, it was back in stock. I was so pissed. And then when I went into store, I actually saw they were starting to set out the new Givenchy pieces and I saw the new highlighter. And so I asked uh, one of the uh, sales associates, I said, is, you know, can I get this highlighter? She said, we're only starting to get the display pieces here in the store. We haven't actually gotten any of the stock. So I was like, oh, darn it. Uh, so anyway, I decided to pick up the Burberry highlighter instead. I have the rose gold uh, colorway and I decided to get the nude gold. This highlighter is so beautiful. At least the rose gold is. I'm hoping the nude gold is a similar if not the same formula. This is what it looks like. I just love, oh my God, I just love the way this highlighter feels and the way it swatches and the way it wears. I mean, everything about this highlighter is so stunning. Oh, 
I can't wait to use this. I haven't used the rose gold too much because it's just kind of been lost in my collection, but I'm definitely gonna be whipping them both out because they are fantastic. So I'm glad I picked this up. Maybe I'll go back and pick up the Givenchy highlighter. We'll see. And then this is another thing that was on my wish list. This is the Shiseido Daya Fude Face Duo Brush. And this is the one that has that interesting silicone tip at one end that's supposed to mimic your finger. My finger isn't this gummy. <laughs> my finger is a little firmer than that, but I don't know. I was kind of interested in this one and the brush just seemed really luxurious and fluffy. Ooh, it's very soft and it's interesting. It's kind of cut like, uh, almost like a diamond shape. So it's like a flat top, but it's angled on the sides. So interesting shape. I will definitely give this a shot. I'm. 99% sure that this is synthetic hair. Let me just, it's handcrafted in Japan. It's 100% synthetic fibers designed for use with liquid, cream, powder, and cushion foundation formulas. Uh, oh, diamond shaped brush applies uh, buffs and blends face color. Gel blender mimics fingertips for a natural looking finish. So we'll play around with this brush. I will report back. This is what the brush looks like. It's very, very sleek and chic looking very Japanese. And then I decided to pick up one of the Tom Ford satin matte lip colors. I really wanted to try them, but so many of the colors were um, out of stock. I think only like half of the colors were in and uh, I stopped into the Neiman Marcus here and they only got in half of the colors. So it doesn't look like they've shipped all of the colors yet, but I picked out one uh, that I liked and this is in the shade Blow Up number three. And this is in like the original like mahogany brown color packaging. It's like the tall, slimmer packaging. And here is the color blow up. It's like a very, very light pink. It's a little bit on the warm side. Let's swatch it and see. Swatch it up here. Ooh, it feels nice. It feels very, very creamy. And it definitely is not a flat matte. Definitely looks like there's a little bit of... I'm sorry, baby. Did you want to try the Tom Ford? So there is the blow up color. It definitely is not a flat matte at all. Almost like a skin like demi matte finish. It's really pretty. Actually, I'm gonna try it on right now. I have a color on, but I'm just gonna try it on right over it. So there is blow up on my lips. I did have another lipstick on underneath, but that was kind of fading from earlier today. But I like this, even though this color is a little bit light for what I usually like to go for, especially with a nude. I actually like this one. And this formula is very interesting. I don't know if I would have called it that. Maybe it definitely has more of a matte finish, but it definitely feels really, really creamy which is very interesting. All right, I also picked up one of the new Tom Ford lip sculptures. I was not that interested in these when they first came out. I even went to Neiman Marcus and I kind of played around with them. I was like, eh, like they're okay. But I thought I would give one a shot again since we were having the sale and I got it in the color Deviate, which is also number three. That blow up color was number three also, right? Yeah, uh, so this is Deviate and this is what the lip sculptor looks like. It has one end, which is the lip sculptor. It looks almost like one of those eyebrow pencils. And I got a color that I thought would be a nice nude. So there is Deviate. It's nice, let me see. It's hard to tell. I'm gonna have to give this a shot also and report back to you. And then on the other end is a brush. So I'll let you know how this works out. And if it works out well, I'll probably pick up some of the other colors, but I'm happy with this color. It's like a nice peachy nude, a little bit warmer than this blow up color. And then I picked up two things that were on sale. Usually in the sale section, they never have anything that I'm interested in, only every once in a while, but they had the Viseart Theory palette in Chroma on sale there. So I picked this up. And I have the cashmere one, I have amethyst, I have siren, I have a whole bunch of them. And I really just love these palettes and I'm really, really digging like cooler colors these days. And so this is just, oh, it's so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Let me swatch some of these. And you guys know how much I love Viseart shadows. Here are the mattes. And this white is gonna be really interesting because Viseart mattes especially 
blend really, really well together. So that'll be really nice. And then here are the shimmers. Let me do that right here. Oof. Those are pretty. Look at those three shimmers. And then the other thing I managed to get on sale is the Becca Gradient Sunlit Bronzer. I tried their, uh, not their Gradient Bronzer, but just their regular bronzers that they came out with, I think, last summer. Those did not work out for me. None of the shades seemed to work uh, quite right. In fact, I went up to a pretty dark shade and it just didn't show up on my skin. But these got such high marks from everyone and they really do look very, very pretty in the pan. So I thought I would give it a shot, especially on sale and then with the sale on top of it. This one that I got is the lighter one. This is called Sunrise Waves. So they have their um, sunlit bronzer shades in here. And then they have, I believe, Moonstone and Opal. They're two highlighters on either side at the end there. So it's like a bronzer highlighter uh, in one. So I'm excited to give this a shot. This actually does look very, very pretty. Oh, and then I almost forgot. I purchased this Guerlain Terracotta uh, Beautifying Foundation with Sunscreen, Sunkissed Healthy Glow. It has an SPF 20. I think I've mentioned this, actually I don't know when I'm gonna be posting this, but I've mentioned now a couple of times how I'm on the hunt to uh, replace the La Mer Reparative Skin Tint now that they're discontinuing that. That has an SPF 30, so this is a little bit lower, and uh, I got it in the shade Natural. This is what the bottle looks like. There is uh, one fluid ounce, and I'm just gonna squeeze some out. So we, oh, actually I'm gonna pump some out. There's like a little pump which I was not expecting. Maybe, I'll be right there. So there is natural. Well, it's very creamy. And it is actually a little warm in tone, which is to be expected considering this is part of the terracotta line. Yeah, beautifying foundation with sunscreen, sun-kissed healthy glow. So this will be nice going into the fall season as I slowly lose any color I've gotten over the summer. This will be really nice. I just hope it's not too orangey, but we'll see. I'll probably do like a full day wear test with this. If you guys are interested, definitely let me know. This is not a new product either, so that may not be very exciting to you. All right, so that's what I picked up uh, online. So let me show you what I got in store. I went a little lippy crazy, uh, but first let me show you Tatcha the Pearl. I think I mentioned this during my um, wish list video. Yeah, I think I did because you guys were really, really sweet. You commented on whether or not it worked for you, how I should use it, how it really isn't like a concealer. So um, it's an illuminating under eye treatment. It's to hydrate and reduce the look of dark circles instantly and over time with lustrous Akoya Pearl Extract for concealer optional eyes. So I think this is kind of like a brightening under eye treatment that you can use under your concealer. So I'm excited to try this. I think this will be nice for those no makeup makeup kind of days. How many times did I say makeup? No makeup makeup kind of days, yeah. Uh, <laughs> So I got that, and then the rest of what I got are lippies. So I picked up a Pat McGrath um, matte trance lipstick because I don't have enough. I picked up Modern Woman, and I was not gonna get any more of her matte trance lipsticks, not because I don't like them, not because they're not amazing, but I just am not really like a matte lipstick wearer. I usually go for like creamier kind of lipsticks, but this color I just couldn't resist. It was really, really pretty. So it comes with her typical uh, lipstick packaging and here is modern woman it's very very cool toned which i'm a fan of and there's a swatch so i couldn't pass this up it's really really pretty it's my kind of nude and i thought it'd be really nice for fall so pick that up and then i picked up one of the new um ysl uh tatouage couture metallic matte stain these just looked really, really cool. I just love metallic lips. I don't know what my problem is. I just love metallic lips. So if it says metallic, I'm like, ooh, like my interest is totally peaked. So this is one of those kind of liquidy formulas. It has that paddle applicator there. And let me swatch this for you. It has this really thin formula. And so it goes on almost in a sheer way but then it really kind of like dries down and becomes sort of like this like solid layer over your lips it's such an interesting interesting formula if you guys have tried this you probably know what i'm 
I'm trying to say. Um, but it's such a great formula. I love how light it goes on. I love how liquidy it is because it actually feels really uh, like cooling on the lip. But there, there you can see like the metallic shimmer now that it's dried down a bit. So this is in the color, did I say that? This is in the color 104 Rose Gold Riot. And I think I saw four or five colors in this new metallic uh, formula. So I'm excited to give that a shot. And then I picked up three of the Dior Rouge Dior Liquid Metals. These are liquid lip stains and they have a whole like kind of metal subline. So I picked up 515 Scandalous Metal and this one is like a bronze color. Let me swatch this for you. I've never tried any of these Dior liquid lips. So there is Scandalous Metal. Uh, I'm hoping they're not like too drying. They do say they're extremely long wear. And then I picked up 334 Vibrant Metal. I think this one is lighter than the YSL. Yeah, this one is like, kind of like a rose gold as well, but I think peachier. These have like a perfume almost like a florally scent. I'm not the biggest fan of that, but that's okay. It's not too strong. So this one is Vibrant Metal. And then last but not least, I got Hollow Glam. This is number 601. And this I wasn't sure about. I was like, am I actually gonna wear this? As much as I love the color and the effect, but I thought, what the heck? It's like this silver with these like holographic bits inside. It has kind of like an interesting lilac-y finish to it. Although I think in the camera you'll probably only see the silver. But I thought this would be nice um, over something and kind of funky on its own. So I'm excited for that. But this one is definitely very glittery. I remember when I swatched it in store, when I tried to remove it, I just had like glitter, kind of like, I was just sort of spreading glitter all around. So if that bugs you, this is not gonna be the one for you. The other ones aren't nearly as like glittery as this one. So that's it. That's all I picked up during the Sephora Beauty Appreciation event sale. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you picked up down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye!